Hello, my friends. My name's Gene Arnold, and welcome to another episode of Regular Guy Mountain Biking. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some bikes that you can purchase online. A buddy of mine, Chris, sent over this uh, this link in, in a little text group we have, and they were the um, top mountain bikes that NewJersey.com, NJ.com posted. Um, I don't know. I want to show you these bikes and I've got a problem with what they're showing and I'm going to get into it right now and show you these bikes and I want to discuss this with you because I don't know. Let me just get the bikes on on the screen and we'll, we'll talk about it and I can I can explain why I don't feel too comfortable about what they're what they're showing people. Okay now before we get started I want to make this perfectly clear. Any bicycle in my opinion any bicycle that gets you out of the house and gets you some form of exercise is an amazing bicycle okay yes i know i'm a bit of a bike snob i know everybody knows it's no big secret but i'm not i'm not the kind of person that would ever um pick on someone because they're going out of their way for exercise because they're not riding on some fancy dancy bike that i happen to like a lot that's that's just wrong and, and i don't want to ever be that kind of person whatever bike gets you out of the house that's an awesome bike. Now, let's put that aside now and take a look at what we, we got over here on NewJersey.com. These are the best mountain bikes to buy in 2023, according to reviews. I haven't gone through all the reviews, but uh, according to reviews. Now, if we scroll down here a little bit, we're going to take a look at these top bikes. These top five, the Mongoose Dolomite Schwinn um, Mesa 3, right? The Huffy Stone Mountain, Schwinn High Timber, and the Highland 26 Aluminum MTB. Um, these are basically all all big box mountain bikes, and 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 I'm sorry, these are not these are not by any stretch of the imagination the best mountain bikes to buy in 2023. Now, there's some reasons for that, and I'm actually going to take a look at the bikes in just a minute. One of the reasons why I have a tough time with this is because it is from a reputable site, NewJersey.com. For whatever, you know, take it for whatever you want there. It's not like it's some wacky site. So people are going to read this and people are going to follow this. These are the kind of bikes that generally don't last that long. They're very hard to get maintained because um, the parts are, might be proprietary or... Uh, bike shops don't want to work on them and if you're looking at bikes in this price range from a site like this you probably don't know a lot about how to fix mountain bikes so you're going to need the help of someone let's take a look at these and this is where i'm going to really get to the point of why i have a problem with this site All right let's take a look at each one of these the mongoose oh an affiliate link here on walmart okay and you'll you're gonna get a theme here in a minute Let's take a look at the Schwinn. Remember, look at this little bitty blurb here. This is basically copied from the website. Ah, an Amazon affiliate link. Puffy. There it is on Amazon, an affiliate link. Right, the Schwinn and the Highland. Right, there's the Schwinn and there's the Highland. I mean, look, these are even like 26 inch. The problem I have is that the author of this article is looking to make affiliate money. And I run my site off of affiliates as well. But people are going to look at this and read this and trust it. Oh, NewJersey.com, they're probably pretty legit. The best mountain bikes to buy in 2023. And this is what they're going to put on here? Really? And they're all affiliate links. So someone's really just making money off the links. So that means someone's really not putting the best mountain bikes online for someone to buy. They're just trying to make some money. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think I'm being a little bit too critical about this? Um, again, remember what I said earlier. Any bike that gets somebody out is a good bike in my opinion. Okay. So if you bought any of these bikes, by all means, you know, you know, dude, you will... I will give you a high five if you're out there riding on them. Good for you. The best mountain bikes in 2023, this is what you get. 
I don't know about that. So I took a look at some sites that I like to go to. Now, if you look at these prices too, 500 bucks, right? Five, uh, you know, four, you know, 480 to almost almost 800, right? Uh, all right, well there we go. 229. It's gonna be kind of tough to beat something like that, right? But we're back here to 400 again. You know, almost almost 400, right? Close to it, 370. So a couple dollars, right? A couple dollars. Though I might not be able to beat those prices, I've got some reasons why I'd want to take you someplace else, and I'd love your thoughts on where you think people might want to take a look for different bikes. So here are, are some of my options. First of all, my option will always start with going to your local bike shop. Especially if you're looking for your first bike or getting into mountain biking, you don't know how to maintain them, um, you're new to the sport, why wouldn't you want to go to your local bike shop, especially if you have a good one like I do by me, and and trust that, that, that shop? You might spend a couple extra dollars, but you've got it repaired. Usually they have a maintenance plan. You'll get it fitted for you. I always say go there, go there first. But if you want to go buy online, that's cool too. I've worked with um, bikes online for a while. They make some pretty good bikes, man. Okay, I, I've got some reviews on them. I uh, actually won't put any affiliate link reviews in this in this video specifically because I don't want to be like the other one I'm saying. I mean, that would be kind of uh, kind of a slap in the face for me to then follow up with affiliate links after I was just having a problem with there. So I'm not even going to do that. But Bikes Online makes some pretty good bikes, right? Okay, I mean, we're still looking at $600 for, for a Marlin, but a Marlin's a pretty reputable brand. Um, you can get up there a few more dollars. All these bikes were pretty much hardtails. So that's why I went to the hardtail section, right? You're spending a couple dollars, but I'm telling you right now, these are definitely much better quality bikes with uh, a pretty good support structure behind them than where you were before. So I would definitely say, look, go take a look at bikes online. I like them a lot. They've been really good to me. So they're worth a check out. Now, some of you folks might go, ooh, bikesdirect.com. Say whatever you want, okay? There are definitely some bikes on here that I would not want to be riding. I got it. But there are actually some bikes on here that are not really that bad. And look, again, right? Look at what we were looking at over here, right? Okay? So it's not like we were going top of the line over here. So you can find some pretty decent deals on, uh, on bikesdirect.com. I've seen people ride some of these bikes. They're not that bad something else to consider i've also seen some decent deals on bike exchange and there are a lot of different sites out there you could take a look at them i mean here here's another one right here you know okay 450 okay you can get some uh leftovers right this is a uh 2021 get some leftovers that are pretty decent quality bikes for a decent price and I've gotten some great deals on Jensen. In fact, recently I picked up um, a really nice Norco optic frame that I'll probably build up at some point. That was like, I don't know, I forgot how much I spent, but it was it was a steal. It was it was uh, during, um, I don't know what it was. It doesn't make a difference. It was, it was a hell of a good deal. And I picked that up. So you can find some pretty good deals on Jensen um, and other, other, other online stores like this. Look for the sales and you can get a pretty darn good quality bike online through some of these other sites. So that's going to wrap up this video, my friends. Like I said, any bike that gets you out of the house, that's an awesome bike. All right, I'm not really that type of guy. But I just felt like when I when I looked at that site and all they were were basically one little paragraph affiliate links for the top bikes you could buy or some of the best bikes you could buy for 2023. I just felt that was steering people wrong. So I thought I might try to put something up there to help folks out. I don't know if you'll even ever find this video. But if you do, I hopefully... I'm giving you some valuable information where you can find some some good quality bikes. I'd love your thoughts. Did I? Um, well, I'm sure I left out some sites where you can get some good deals. There's there's thousands of sites out there. Put some comments down below on where you feel people could find some pretty decent bikes for a, a good price. Um, you might you might help somebody out and you don't even realize it. Okay, so if we all work together, we can get more people riding, and that's really the whole goal of this: getting everybody out there having a good time. Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking. Keep the party on the pedals, my friends, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.